you might know, you can go to the Texas Comptroller's website and search your name to see if you have any unclaimed money. But the money we're talking about tonight is not on any state website. It's not publicized anywhere. KXAN investigator Brian Collister discovered more than $22 million stashed in state coffers, money that could be yours. Shannon Robert, if someone is caught for something like breaking into your house or crashing into your car, chances are the court will require that criminal to pay you money for damages or injuries you may have had. It's called restitution, but many crime victims are never called to appear in court and are unaware they have money coming to them. That's why state law requires the courts to notify you. Now, this is a list of hundreds of crime victims Travis County says it can't find to give them their money, but we found it's pretty easy. This whole side of my face, swollen to like this big. Ian Peary still has pain from a broken jaw 13 years ago. What Peary didn't know until we told him was the court ordered his attacker to pay him more than $7,000. But the Travis County Probation Department didn't really put much effort into tracking him down to give him his money. It only did what the law requires, sending a single certified letter to Peary's last known address. You know, I didn't move to, you know, Saudi Arabia. I've always been in Austin. Um, it's not been tough to find me. We found Ian by simply searching for him through social media. And it was just as easy to find this victim online. I noticed that he parked into my car right here, which dented here, and now since it's been eight years, it's rusted. <laughs> A drunk driver crashed into Brittany Weber's car in 2008 in order to pay $1,300 in restitution. I just completely wrote this off like this was just, you know, something that happened to my first car that I've ever bought <laughs> that this would happen to it and which you know this is really awesome that now I have actually maybe some money for my tuition this fall. Both Weber and Peary are just two of nearly 1,500 crime victims owed restitution who the Travis County Probation Department claims it can't locate to hand them their money. We wanted to ask the department's director Charles Robinson why he refused our request for an interview saying in an email our practices are consistent with our legal obligation. So we caught up with the director. Can we set up a time to sit down and talk? I think I've already responded to your email, so can I you, think you have my can, answer. Okay? I, you haven't explained why you're not doing more. Could you simply do more to help these crime victims? Like Googling their names? The reason may be his office doesn't do more because it actually profits by holding on to your money, earning interest and keeping a 5% collection fee once it goes to the state comptroller's office after five years. If anybody comes forward wanting the dollars, then obviously we give the money to them. The comptroller says now because of our investigation, his office is researching how it can include these names on its unclaimed property website so victims can find their cash. So is there an ability for us to put individuals' names? So at least there's some searchable data. When we searched the data, the name of one individual who can't be found jumped out at us. $132 from an old theft case just waiting for them here at the comptroller's office. I wanted to see if you could help me find one crime victim in particular that we saw on the list <laughs> who has funds here in your office. Now that's, uh, that's interesting. The Travis County Probation Department says they can't find you to give you your restitution. I have no clue what that is. You don't remember being uh, no, paying $500 I sure don't. for a pair of cowboy boots and no. never getting your boots? Oh, yes, I do remember that. I do remember that. You're a, a crime yeah. victim who they can't that's find to give them their money. Yeah, they got my name spelled wrong, though, and I don't live at that address anymore. And I never got a certified receipt. We found the same thing happened to State Representative Charlie Guerin. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's a, a couple of thousand bucks. And now, because of what we uncovered, Guerin is working to change the current law to require more be done to find victims to give them their money. I'm going to look further into this to see what we need to do to notify people uh, because if it's happening in Travis County, it's probably happening in other, some of the other 254 counties in the state. Now, everyone we found has gotten their money, but there's still a lot of money unclaimed. So check out this story on KXAN.com for how you can find out if you have money owed to you. For example, the $4,800 that is currently being held by Hayes County or the $15,000 in Williamson County. And if you live here in Travis County, well, there's $403,000, and we've made it even easier. You just have to enter your name in our searchable database. It's as simple as that. Brian Collister, KXAN Investigates.
We also learned California has created an unknown victims unit that has successfully located thousands of crime victims and handed out more than $9 million since 2010. The Texas controller is now looking into how his office could do something similar. We found a lot of money for a lot of people with this investigation. If you have something you want us to investigate, email us at report it at kxan.com.